That's HGU. Yeah, we might as well talk about that next then. I forgive you, I forgive you, I forgive you. From there, that's the one. After everything we've been through, everything I've seen, on Disney Channel on the screen, you know, I can't forget the screams. Late at night, clinging to the beams. Is he understanding what I mean? Saying, don't go now, yo, please. First 27 years a bad dream Cause I finally found my feet Head low, walking through the streets Had these headphones, filling up with beats My mind speaks, I'm hurt Still rosy in my cheeks Why the water bleeds get to fall in peace When it's falling down on me I keep my hands where you can see Cause I ain't being fooled by Felice Felt you cool it in my jeans My back pocket splitting in the seams I couldn't start the car, find the keys I forgive you, I forgive you, I forgive you I forgive you, I forgive you, I forgive you, I forgive you, I forgive you So sick yeah, what? So, really, this came from me being late to the studio. Oh, yeah. We were waiting for like time. A, like, a, but like a long time. Mm -hmm. So, once we were like, oh, is he, is he all right? It was properly late, though. It was like, yeah. and I'd made a point of like, like two, three, let's get in at 10 yeah, or whatever. Yeah, that was it. And I was, it was like four. You ended up like actually running into the studio. I think you were still, you were like still penning, like on your phone sort of thing. I was coming back from the nursery run and Hugo had been saying to me, little Hugo again, what's that? Is that the video? I'm trying to find it. But yeah, because I remember Hugo said to me like, again, in this whole like, oh, you should brag more. He was saying, you should be more like ASAP Rocky. That's what he says to me a lot. And I was like, yeah, okay, okay. Like, how, how do I do that? But he was saying that a few of the tunes on the latest ASAP record were tight beats. Yeah. Like, he just got an ASAP Rocky type beat. And he said, you should go on, you should go on YouTube and search Lil Kana type beat. Definitely, because there'll, there'll definitely be something here. And so, yeah, I did. I was on the toilet of all places. But that's the only place, that's the only place. When you're, when you're a dad, that's the only place that you get any peace, <laughs> yeah. right? So I was in my, I was in my office, <laughs> like, <laughs> on my swivel chair. Office. But I remember, I remember just writing to it, like listening to the beat and going, this one's actually all right, from Xanto. Yeah. Turn me up. Because at, yeah. at the beginning it had that in it, the turn me up, Xanto. So I started writing, it's like 11 o'clock. I remember starting writing to it and going, shit. Because it just came straight out like, I forgive you, I forgive yeah, you, I forgive sick. you. Cause I'd just spoken, I think I'd probably just spoken to my dad and we just had my last driving lesson before yes. going thing. And then yeah, like, yeah, found it. I wrote and wrote and wrote and wrote. Go on, let me see. Turn me up, Zento. The next day, the next day, then the next day. Yo, I forgive you, I forgive you, I forgive you. That's the take. Mm -hmm. Pretty much. As you were doing it as well, it was like, I think we were looking at each other like, yeah, this is 100% the missing piece. Yeah. Yeah. And it just it was something, it was like a real beauty in the fact that it was a little kind of tight beat. And we spent all this time getting in like some of the best musicians going. Sure, and this was, like, <laughs> we just spent so much time agonizing over every little fine detail. Mm. And then this perfect little piece came up, mm. came up from um, from Zento, mm. just on YouTube. And like, yeah, sick. It was the per but it was nice as well because it, it was like a nice justification of like, if your type beats are way off what you want, then it means the music you've been making is not yeah. the, the music you should have been making. Yeah, do you yeah, know what I mean? But it was yeah, a nice yeah. thing of like, if this is a little kind of type beat, we're doing something. Sick. We're doing yeah, something yeah, right. You get me. And then we recorded it in the car as well. I forgot. That. Do you remember we did oh, the whole take? Yeah. yeah, yeah. There's a wicked photo of you in the car with. And um, yours. Remember we, we did we, it for hate as well, didn't we? Yeah, we did it for hate as well. There's a lot of stuff. We recorded a lot in the car. Yeah. Okay, is that what reason. car is that? Freak you want it? Reason. Can I acknowledge? Oh, come on, it's real life, man. It's yeah, obvious yeah. the fucking cameras are here. Hell yeah. 
That's it. Two. It's been really nice to be able to talk about my dad's car. And it's made me feel, I don't know, even more believing in it being the right name for the album, Hugo. Because mm-hmm. there were so many names for the album. But Hugo, you know, Hugo is the name of my dad's car. And the album wouldn't have existed without, without my dad's car and without the lessons. Because it wasn't even about the driving lessons. Like, yeah, that was a nice, beautiful, like, micro, like, zoom in on a, on a story. But it was just the catalyst for conversation and the epicenter of all of the, like, the seismic shifts that happened in my life and in his yeah. life. And I think in, like, some ways in both of yours as well. Because we were all on this, like, shared journey of fatherhood That's and understanding what it means. And being in a car, you're not, like, looking at each other, right? So, like, mm. if I'm in the car and my dad's in the car, I'm saying, like, yo, you really let me down. But I don't have to watch that land. And, mm. and hit him and hurt him. You know what I mean? So I'm able to speak free and then he's able to kind of be more honest because neither of us are, yeah, confronting each other, mm. which allowed for these conversations. And that's just, that was the whole idea of the album. And there was times where the album was like really blatant and, you know, we had loads of car sounds and boo Yeah, 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 yeah. And then slowly we started to chip those away and just keep the essence of my dad's car. Um, but yeah, that's why it's called Hugo because my dad's car. And little Hugo as well gets a mention yeah, from the cooking yeah, school. yeah. yeah. Because I don't think, before the driving lesson for any of that shit, if it wasn't for me spending time with Hugo, I'd have quit. Mm. I don't think I'd be, yeah, yeah, I, I was yeah. done. I, I was checked out. Polly also mentioned that HGU was on your dad's license plate as well. Yeah, it is. Literally spelled out there for us, like, mm-hmm. what can this be between little Hugo, dad's car, yep. and this sort of, the album kind of taking on a sort more of a personified mm-hmm. thing, becoming mm-hmm. this, like, entity. Mm. It felt right to give it, like, a name. Thing. Yeah. Then a bit at the end with your dad. Oh, yeah. I to, forgot, I forgot, yeah, to, like, of course. Yeah. You, did, you did let him become a that lorry. All right, when next week? When do we start? Are you busy next week? No, I've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I'm doing something. Yep. The carpet's come Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I don't know, because Monday, Tuesday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, wait, Thursday, Friday. All right, then. Well, just let me know. We'll I'd, well, I'd probably say the Friday bit of say so because the carpet's, the liner's going to come on the Wednesday. Yeah. And I can lay that on the Thursday. All right. So the voice and note is just me and my pups. On the lot, my final, that's the final driving lesson I had with him before I got no minors, no majors. <laughs> I remember being, I remember because I recorded a couple and a couple of times he'd said some like two out there stuff. Mm. But that one was just the perfect thing of like, this whole book is closed, it's finished. But it doesn't mean that like the story is mm. solved. Do you know yeah, what I mean, it's not like, yeah. it's not happy ending. Yeah. Because it could have ended with my dad being like, I love you, Ben. Yeah, no, no, no. It was like the beauty in the sort of mundaneness of the conversation. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah. Are you busy next week? And it was just like, mm-hmm. yeah, this is just mm-hmm. real life. Mm-hmm. You're trying to, you know, you've made contact, you're getting by, and it's like, yeah, it's just perfect. It was like, for me, perfect way to end the album. Mm. It's just, a, it's just a thing of like, it, it still takes hard work. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? It was that's I think what I, was, what I wanted to get from it, or what I wanted to offer with it. The idea of that is like, yeah, you know, we we found our way to a good place and navigated a lot of a lot of bullshit essentially. Yeah, yeah. But then when we get there, it's not just like cool, like me and my dad are tight now. Yeah. It's like every day that's it's constant, road, isn't it? yeah. constant work. Yeah, like any relationship. I so have my dad. It's nice to say that I love my dad, but it's not easy. Mm. It's actually fucking hard. <laughs> it's a complicated thing, isn't it? You know, it's not. It's not simple, is it? Yeah, it's done. Oh, and then I, I remember that the 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 very end of the voice note, where the door when when my dad closes the door, slammed. it slammed at the same time as the song stopped. Yeah, exactly yeah. that. And we were all just like, basically, like it's done. Let's you leave. Can't, you can't yeah. ever yeah. mess yeah. with that. Alright, then. Want to play chess? Yeah. There you go.